Welcome back everyone. This video I'm going to be talking about how to choose a fight stick. You know many times when you go online shopping for a product, you're thinking is this product any good? Is this product worth the price? What, sh what are some of the things that I should be looking for? Right? For example, if you're buying a gaming monitor, you know how to look at the price. You know how to look at, oh, is this IPS? Is this uh, LED monitor? What are the refresh rates on each monitor? You get an idea before you make up your mind, right? Um, so the same thing goes for our case sticks. Uh, so this video, I'm going to be talking about the three things to look for when buying a fight stick. Number one, fight stick levels. When it comes to fight sticks, there are basically three levels. Entry level, mid range, and premium. Usually in the entry level, you get a smaller body you get either basic buttons basic levers or unbranded buttons and unbranded levers and basically unbranded parts uh, you would get the minimum material minimum features just enough to play the game um, a entry level or case stick usually runs you around maybe forty dollars to a hundred dollars in my hand right here, I have the Mayflash F300, one of, a, one of the very popular entry-level fight sticks. All right. Next, we have a mid-range fight stick. First, in order to qualify for a mid-range fight stick, it has to have uh, premium parts. You either have to have Samoa, Sama parts, Hayabusa parts, Semisu parts, or premium Korean parts. In my opinion, that's the first thing a mid-range fight stick should have. Um, on top of that, uh, a mid-range stick usually have a bigger or a wider body, and they usually have uh, cable management. Uh, sometimes a few extra features like a touchpad and things like that. So, and a mid-range fight stick usually runs you around one hundred to two hundred dollars. So this is a basic. Uh, this is the entry level fight stick next to a mid-range fight stick. Okay, let me put this away. Now, moving on, we have. The premium fight stick. Usually, for a premium fight stick, um, the company usually gives you a puts a little bit more effort onto the overall design. You get a nice artwork. The body is typically heavier. Uh, a premium fight stick has everything, or has at least most of the features from a mid-range fight sticks such as touch pads such as cable management and things like that but with extra features that a mid-range uh, fight stick would not have such as for example this one has the the shoulder strap clips so you can wear it on around your shoulder um, this one has a detachable cable. This one also has the easy access to the internals um, and things like that. Uh, other premium fine sticks may have more of other features. Some has a removable, removable lever like the Victrix Pros, uh, some has very fancy LED uh, light accents, uh, some have an even more uh, beautiful design such as the Kwama Dragon. You have the dragon scales inside and the wrapping of the cables outside. Just, just more effort on a premium stick. In terms of buttons, uh, they typically have the same buttons. 
Uh, so basically what you're getting more is just extra features and more of a appearance uh, things like that and note that if you use a if you use a higher level fight stick meaning if you use a mid-range over entry if you use a premium over mid-range it doesn't it doesn't make you a better player what is the best word to describe the difference between all three levels the word i think that is very suitable for to comparing all three is experience um all of them you're gonna get the job done um are you okay uh basically it's kind of like going to a restaurant in your local neighborhood versus of going to let's say a a three or four star fancy restaurant in the city right you're going to get a different experience at the fancy restaurant comparing it to the local neighborhood restaurant so same thing goes for the arcade stick it doesn't it's not going to make you a better player it's not going to do it's not going to suddenly make you get better and things like that but it will give you a better experience um, are you okay of are you okay uh, not having cable management are you okay uh, with no LED lights do you mind unscrewing six seven or eight nine screws every time you want to change a button or something um, just little things like that and what else so it really depends on your personal needs we all have different needs so it really depends on you some people just want the basic uh, controller just to play a few games at night um, that's it you know you don't really have to spend 300 400 dollars on a fight stick to some people they say you know i want a nicer stick it's going to encourage me to play uh, fighting game more which is true i do hear that a lot from my viewers you know some people you know to some people you know they oh i want to buy a a nicer oven so i can it's going to encourage me to bake more you know things like that so overall yes there are three levels but using a higher level is not going to you know certainly improve your your game or anything it's just personal preference you're really buying it for the extra features the convenience overall the, the experience number two what hardware what parts do you want inside of your fight stick as a buyer you have a lot of options such as uh, Sanwa, Semisu or Hayabusa or do you prefer the classic American style arcade parts or do you prefer Korean parts you have a lot of options uh, if you want to go with Sanwa there's a lot of sticks out there with Sanwa if you want to go with uh, Hayabusa you can go with Hori if you want the classic uh, American arcade style there's a company called XRK that makes them if you want to go with uh, Korean parts Itoki makes them I think Itoki you can customize it with Sawa or Korean parts uh, so there's a lot of options but I know that a lot of people haven't tried most of the different parts so I understand it's a very hard questions to answer so my recommendation is go with Sawa Sama is the most popular, the most loved, uh, very responsive, very reliable. They have the most color choices in parts, LED, uh, not LED, silent, not silent, um, things like that. And I would say most people would agree that if you don't know, if you don't know what to get, uh, you can't go wrong with Sama. Um, Sama is what you see in most Japan, uh, in most arcades in Japan. Um, in, uh, Sama is what's in most of the the big brands like Honda, Mad Cats, Razer in their mid range and premium arcade sticks. So Sama is probably the the best choice if you're 
like brand new to fight sticks or if you want you're looking for a, your first uh, fight stick until you get more familiar with the different parts you can buy them try them out see which one actually uh, you actually like uh, my combination is I use high, uh, Sama lever and I use a Hayabusa, I use Hayabusa buttons so that's my combination but many people have different combinations you don't have to go all Sama you don't have to go all Hayabusa you can mix and match and things like that uh, with the lever with the ball top bat top uh, there's a lot of things to customize there's a lot of things to to change but as a beginner I, I think going with Sama is not a it's not a bad choice um, yeah and also one is not better than the other um, it is all a personal preference so there's there's people out there that says sound was the best the most responsive and things like that it's not true you know it's all a personal preference until you try them you're gonna find uh, your preference lastly number three the stick layout when you're looking at different arcade sticks online, you may have come across two different layouts. One is the Velix layout and the other one is the Noah layout. It's funny how companies doesn't label the sticks which is which. Um, so, but because they both exist, I want to mention it. So that way when, you look, when you're buying a stick, you know what you're getting. Um, it's not a very big deal. Uh, it's just minor, minor measurement differences. Uh, there are a lot of detail measurements but the easiest way to tell is on the Velix layout, uh, looking at the medium and heavy buttons, the heavy buttons and the medium buttons on the same level. But on the NOAA layout, the, the heavy buttons are slightly lower. Um, because for the NOAA layout, because our fingers are different length. So when you press down on, on the stick, Supposedly, the button uh, for your ring finger touching the, let's say, the heavy punch should be a slightly lower. So I think scientifically, biologically, and technically, the NOR layout is supposed to be to fit the human hands a little bit better. But somehow, you know, the market uh, is pushing the Velix. Uh, somehow the standard has become the Velix. But it's not a very big difference, you know. Uh, it's both very um, they're both very similar and it's one is not better than the other it's just a personal preference I use the Velix because the games that I play is better for Velix so it also depends on what games you play if you play Tekken you're mainly using four buttons so the the last um, the third row of the the burns the buttons doesn't actually matter but let's say if you play King of Fighters uh, which is four buttons, but King of Fighter button, uh, four buttons. Some players as assign um, the top four buttons. So, is and in King of Fighter you press C and D a lot. Uh, so it's a lot easier to press C and D with your index and middle like on the same level than to go like lower and press it like that. So, so for King of Fighters players, the Velix might be a better choice. So. Depends on your uh, personal preference, depends on the games you play, depends on your finger size and, and your hand and your different length and things like that. So yeah, so those were the three things I want to mention. Um, uh, things that you look for when buying a fight stick, which is, you know, the different levels for a fight stick, uh, the stick hardware, and then the two layouts. So those are the three things that you can actually control when buying a fight stick um, I am going to have a lot more videos going in deeper into the hardware of the fight sticks we're going we're gonna because a lot of people probably gonna comment what about the restrictor case what about this what about that um, those you really you actually don't have much choice like option a control when buying the fight stick those will be separate videos I'm gonna make later down the road to talk about customizations, modifications, and ultimately uh, teaching you guys how to build your own fight stick. So it's going to take some time, but I want to take it one step at a time to go over the simple and the basics first before we go into um, the much more uh, the complicated stuff um, and things like that. Uh, so yeah, this is just a quick video to help you guys out. 
If you have any questions, just send me a message, leave a comment, like, comments, and subscribe. It's always helpful for this channel. Um, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.